Michael Daniel from Street Cam. Documentary coming to you live and direct from outside the Sudanese embassy where the Sudanese community are now setting off on a march to Downing Street. Today is the 30th of June. It commemorates two very important things. It is the 30th anniversary of the uh, coup d'etat in Sudan, the Islamic fundamental of coup d'etat. Because we've had enough and we need a democracy, we need a civilian-led government. Subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs. So you must make sure when you subscribe, your bell button, your personalized bell button is switched on. Tell me about the negotiations that have taken place this week with the African Union and Ethiopia coming up with solutions. Yes, I'm I'm responsible for so much of the chaos all around the world. British imperialism, we know, has supported the Sudanese regime. We know that British imperialism has been training Sudanese forces, Sudanese military forces. We know that the carnage in Yemen, which the Sudanese military has also been supporting, has been supported by Britain. We know that Britain is responsible for so much of the carnage around the world, so much of the oppression both against the Sudanese people, supporting the oppression of the Sudanese people throughout its history, as well as all people around the world, the people of Yemen, the people of Palestine, the people of Venezuela, all of the people struggling against oppression and imperialism. We know that Britain, British imperialism, has stood hand in fist with all of the oppressive regimes around the world that have oppressed these people. But right now, right now the people of Sudan are leading the way, they are demonstrating, they are demonstrating inspiration. They are inspiring. They are inspiring everyone, all of the oppressive people around the world with their actions, with their sacrifice with their determination, and that will not be wasted. We know, we know this revolution will succeed, and you have inspired people all around the world fighting for their freedom. So we extend, we extend our solidarity. We extend our solidarity to all of the people struggling in Sudan, and all of the people struggling here in Britain in solidarity with them. So solidarity on behalf of the revolutionary communists. <laughs>
Have you seen Street Cam? Yes, I have. Do you like it? I love it. Why you, do you, you like Street Cam? You're doing an amazing job covering this from the start. No, no, that's not good enough. I want to know why <laughs> why you like Street Cam. Because you keep it real, that's why. What do you mean keep it real? You like keep this? it real. Yes, like this. Huh? Yeah, very raw. Mr. I'm the chair of the Sudanese community and information center in London, as well as the deputy chair of the Sudanese Engineers Association in UK. What does it take to an arrange an event like this, which starts outside of the Sudanese embassy and ends up in Downing Street? What does it take to arrange the event? Uh, first, we have to fix a date between us as a management committee for this uh, demonstration. Secondly, we just uh, submit a form for the police in Westminster to get uh, permission. And that takes about five working days. After you submit it, you will get uh, a police assigned to that demonstration. You will be in contact to check with you any information having been included in the form, like numbers, route, uh, hours, you stay here. After that, when you get the approval, you just... Uh, Publish the poster or the, or the flyer for your people, and we have to put it, make it in two in two language, Arabic language and English language, uh, English language as well, uh -huh. and uh, and just spread, circulate it between the WhatsApp and uh, social uh, uh, social media groups. So don't forget that if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, make your comments, and if you do subscribe. Please remember to turn on, to switch on your personalised notification bell because when you do, 
you can be sure that you will always get your notifications each time Street Cam Documentary has been uploaded. I'm super happy, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm wondering my people, all the peaceful protesters back home, and I wish them all the luck. We deserve to live better life. How difficult is it for you to attend a protest being in a wheelchair? It's quite challenging, even day-to-day -day life, but for my country, every struggle just to, to convey my voice is, is nothing compared to the what people facing back home. Have you seen Street Cam? Did you like it? Why did you like it? Uh, because it really shows how our country is and it shows that you're showing awareness to the whole world. I'm here today because I have a lot of friends who are Sudanese and I feel that it's important to stand with them. How have they been affected? by what's going on in Sudan? Well, they've been affected by families being broken up, people being killed, people being oppressed and marginalised, and I think that they've had enough. Tell me, what is that in English? Um, protester, we will, um, I don't know actually. So, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yet again, you're down here outside of the Sudanese embassy. What is the significance of today's protest? Um, thank you, Ferris, for the brilliant and marvellous coverage you are doing. Today is the 30th of June. It commemorates two very important things. It is the 30th anniversary of the uh, coup d'etat in Sudan, the Islamic fundamentalist coup d'etat. And actually, we um, uh, used to do this every 30th of, of uh, uh, June since the early 90s. And the second thing, today marks the end of the uh, leeway given by the, uh, the African uh, uh, Union, the African Unity, for the Janjaweed who are governing Sudan to uh, hand it and pass it over to the civilians. And uh, uh, today is uh, a very massive demonstration in Sudan, although the Janjaweed and the military are trying to blockade all the door, all the corridors and the roads, and uh, uh, with a very sort of uh, ferocious and powerful uh, display of, uh, of arms. But in spite of that, reports coming now that the Sudanese are, I mean, adamant that they have to commemorate this day in a very sort of shouting, very courageous, uh, perseverant sort of uh, uh, movement. And of course, the revolution is not yet achieved. As we have been seeing all the time, it is a spiral staircase and it never goes straight and people are ready to pay the price, whatever it is, because it is a, there is a sunk cost in this revolution. We have blood, tears, and sweat. So you cannot take a siesta in the middle of the war. Yeah, yeah. Nabil Young couldn't do it. Yeah. He did it on his feet. Yeah. Today is a great day here 
here in front of the Sudanese embassy in London. We all gathering here so as to chant again is what's happening in Sudan because we've got the transitional military council which he is digging in and dragging along and it doesn't want to hand over the power to the civilian led government. The whole point is we are protesting today the same place of June, which is the saddest day in the history of Sudan. It's the day when Al Bashir took over the power 30 years ago. We are here protesting. We are here raising our voice. We are here raising awareness for the UK public, for the international public, and support us in our revolution. Revolution of December, and we are that near, and we are closing up so as to take over and to accede to accede the civilian-led government for the coming four years as to build up the Sudan and to build up Sudan on the basis of democracy, human rights, basis of social justice, and uh, basis of prosperity, and basis of you know, building up the infrastructure, opening up the schools, and free uh, medical services, rebuilding the hospitals, and employing all this use because Sudan is a very productive country and we have a lot of job needed to be done in the coming years.
القصائد القصائد نحو الذي نشتري حياة وحيرة ونستظل بالمواقف الأسيلة ونقول لا لا نرتدي السيول لأن من يصور الجميل لا يلاقي السؤال عزيزي للجميل والكرامة للجميل تحاملي على أرواحك المجهدة وغيب إذا نحبك العزيم وخاتر الصغار بهم ولهم الهم ممكنة ويتلبون خبرة وموت وبداء التهية لكل الشعب السوداني التهية للشباب السودانيين الموجودين الآن في هذا التظاهر التخمة على مستوى داوننج ستريت We are here to show our support. This is the right honor for all of us to show our support and solidarity to our Sudanese brothers and sisters who are protesting against the government and the Gaza with Malaysia, which they call Damas Dari. We are also here to say thanks and the well done to our brothers and sisters who are here really taking in the Western Hemisphere for excavating the situation, for letting the world know what is taking place in Sudan. Brothers and sisters, no one can deny that Sudan has a very serious problem. Not only that Sudan has a very serious problem, but our people has a very serious problem. We have this problem because our government failed to protect our lives. Our government failed to protect our property. Our government failed to, pro to give us good to
We've got African Union and Ethiopia coming up with solutions. Yes, Ethiopia is a Ethiopia has come as a neighbor, has come as a, a mediator as to mediate between us and the Transitional Military Council. And they adopted the negotiation where it stopped that we will have the civilian led government until we until to the point where uh, Al Burhan look at the camera, and look at the camera, look at the camera. Yeah, Al Burhan came and declared that he doesn't want any negotiation, he doesn't want anything to do with us. Now, the African mediator in the form of the Prime Minister of Ethiopia is coming to us to mediate, as to make us sit together and see the points where we can make a um, deal. I think we we do we hundred percent agree with the African mediator. But the military council, they are very hesitant to accept that, and it is yet to be seen, and it is yet to be accepted. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So don't forget that if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, make the comments, and if you do subscribe, please remember to turn on, to switch on, your personalized notification.